I have got the world's biggest horse fly on the back of my father's truck because the rolling garbage can is in the uh, junk shop. Look at that thing though. I don't even want to go outside and grab my rod. Thing's the size of a half dollar. It's a freaking horse fly. Go away! Leave me alone. Look at that thing. Look at it. Look at it! I know how to handle communists. I think I pissed it off. Look at that son of a bitch. Look at him. Oh, he's evil. He's waiting for me to come back out. Look at that thing. Look at him. Dang. I almost got him too. Look at him. He's looking at me. He's like, you want some? People are probably looking at me like I'm crazy. I mean, they ain't wrong, but. Oh, look at the truck scared him away. Send help, please. Bump that freaking thing. Woo! Oh, this is a this is a cool looking bass. I've never seen one out of here with the oh hey 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 with the uh, friggin' lateral line like that. I mean this fish looks like it came out of a different pond. Oh hey, nice one on the spinner Uh yeah, just take a piss on me, Bubba. No problem. I will be your urinal. That is a chunk little bass and he's got some very very pretty colors on him i've never really seen i mean, you don't see many with the lateral line like that this is a pretty one chunky little bubba too look at his stomach definitely getting fat for the winters probably gonna end up in the freaking pond look at that lateral line cool deal i'm telling you this chartreuse bellied craw from strike king with the june bug fluke has been killer well maybe the water's starting to warm up now they'll start biting i'd really like to go get a cup of coffee but the fish are biting them can't really justify going anywhere <laughs> i'm gonna make my way to the car grab a coffee and come back hey guess who caught another bass and didn't have the camera turned on like a dickhead me. Luckily, he's not a giant one. <laughs> Made it four or five days without doing it, so guess it was bound to happen. Chunky little dude. Come on, you little chunky bubba. Let's get you back into what was. Get under them weeds, you. Get under there. Oh, again, dude. That freaking fish, bro, I'm telling you. Don't cast with the one I'm using. Cast with your other one. I'll show you where to cast and where to reel it in. See the weed edge right here? Yeah. Watch. Look out. Cast out there and reel it in really slow towards that weed edge. No effing way. No effing way. 
Oh. That's not the one that's been hitting at it though. There's a bigger one out there under the weeds. Keep, keep casting where I was casting there. That's a good one though. That's at least three and a half, four, I'd say. It's a nice bass. Just barely hooked in the corner of the mouth too. Pissing all over me. <laughs> Look at that, hook came right out. All right, cool deal. Oh, sh dad's got a big one. He's got the big one. Dang, popped off in the bushes. Um, this is a good three and a half, maybe close to four pounder right here, right along the weed line. Full deal, second one I caught today at that spot. Mm. Oh. There he goes. <laughs> cool deal. How big do you think that fish was? Five or bigger? Yeah, the ones I lost, it would be They're not eating it like they have been. They're getting hooked in the corner of the mouth. That one I just landed was skin hooked right in the corner of the mouth. When I grabbed the hook, it just popped right out. <laughs> so, whereas yesterday they had it halfway down their throat when they ate it. <laughs> That's a good one. Nice little three pounder, maybe four. Cool deal. Nice bass. He's hooked a little better than the other ones were. Okay guys, nice little three and a half, four pound largemouth. Nailed the spinner bait. He's not very long. I'd say he's probably only about 16 inches, maybe 17 at the most, but he is very, very stout. Big old fatty McGee. I'd say he's a good, four pounds probably one of the coolest sunsets i've ever seen nice to put a fish in front of it hmm unfortunate would have been nice to catch one with the sunset in the background yeah Okay. This is a pretty good fish. All right. Boom. Awesome. Right before sunset, this bad boy ruined that spinneroony, didn't he? It's another nice three pounder. Look at how chunky these fish are, you guys. You got to remember, these are northern strain bass. These aren't Florida strain. These are all northern strain and. Like, none of them are under three pounds. <laughs> and these are kind of like the smaller sized ones in the lake, too. Look at that. Boom. Nice way to end the video. I mean, they've all been kind of around the same size, this video. Just fatty chunkers, you know? All right. Let's get this piggy back in the water. Garbage place to release them. God, I'm gonna have to walk out on the tree and do this. Oh my God, this is sketchy as.
Nope. There he goes through the weed line. Oh, thankfully the camera was rolling. <laughs> Not bad. Sit right next to the tree. Nailed the old spinneroony. Look at that hook set right in the top of the mouth. Look at that. Right through the snot locker. Right in the snot locker. Can be one of them Antifa hipsters now with that piercing in your nose. He, uh, he hit it twice. Either that or another fish hit it and then he came and cleaned up after it. Either way, there was definitely two bumps. Cool deal, not gonna weigh him. I would say he is definitely two and a half to three pounds. <sighs> Good boy. Bang, right next to the bank. Not a bad one. He freaking nailed it right next to the shores. Nice little three pounder, three and a half maybe. Nice chunky largemouth. Very dark. I don't know if that's just because I got him dirty or what, but darker than normal. Definitely a uh, chunky little bubba. All right, folks, back inside the trout cave. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the like button, subscribe, hit that little ding -a -ling bell thing, make it go rang, turn it from red to gray. So, started out the video getting into a uh, altercation with a giant horse fly. I didn't even know I made contact with that friggin' thing until I did the replay and edited the video. I got a piece of his butt. Had a, probably my one of my best days at that lake in terms of numbers caught five that's probably the most bass i've ever caught in a day and none of them were big but they were all pretty good solid fish you know i'd say all between two and a half to three and a half pounds which once again for northern strains up here that's pretty good fish got some cool releases on video had a bass wave bye bye at me with his little dorsal fin that was kind of cute had one jump out of the water when i released them those are always fun the jumpers put Papa Spankins onto a big old football. Unfortunately, it, it popped the hook in the bushes when he was flipping it. Added a couple of bonus fish at the end for the heck of it. Caught them on different days after the fact. Why not? Makes up for the one that I missed on camera, as usual. But yeah, overall, pretty good video. It was exciting for me. Got some good footage, caught some nice bass, swung my cane at a giant horse fly. Good times. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, once again, please like, subscribe, share, notify, all that good stuff. Hope to see you on the next one. Keep on spanking them. Look at that goddamn thing. Dude, that spider belongs in Florida. I'm sorry, that thing is way too big for around here. Oh no! What the fuck you? Son of a Getting into all kind of fights with the insects today. <clears throat> Some of y'all probably throw a lot better than I do. Oh, that was.
was so close. Oh. Almost. The leaf he was hiding on blew away, so I can't freaking see him now. Whatever, bye.